Hi everyone. Namaste. And a big aloha from Hawaii. Uh, today is May 14th, Thursday, the 14th of May 2020. And uh, it's been about two months that we have been in a lockdown situation due to the coronavirus and the COVID-19 epidemic or pandemic. And I just thought of talking about a topic which um, I had written a blog about a few days ago or maybe a month ago. Um, and I just wanted to share it with a video and talk about it. It's about uh, yoga and just the practice of yoga for everyone. The blog, I believe I had uh, headlined as yoga is for everyone, which is a pretty common topic. Uh, now with the shelter in place and the lockdown situation, one of the things, and the gyms are closed, some, some places the parks are closed, out here in Hawaii, although the parks and the beaches are open, but one of the ways of uh, keeping yourself fit mentally and physically is doing yoga. And I just wanted to bring this topic that yoga is for everyone because a lot of folks, when I talk to them about yoga, they um, kind of associate it with very athletic uh, celebrity type, model type, you know, white women. And a lot of guys have said, oh, that's for women. And, you know, I don't do yoga, but yoga is for everyone. And especially currently with the lockdown or shelter in place situation, um, one of the big things about yoga is that you can practice it. And when I say yoga, yoga has a lot of other uh, implications. Yoga has, is a huge, it's a way of life, it is philosophy, it's a lot of different things. But I'm just talking about the asana, yoga asana, which is the physical exercise. So uh, the good thing about it is you can practice it anywhere. You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to go to a special place. You can do it at your home. And you don't need any tools. You might need a yoga mat, but that's also not essential. You can practice it on the carpet or on the floor. So you don't need any tools. You don't need any specific location. You, can, you don't need any weights. You can just do it by yourself and in your home. And not all poses of the asanas, if you know about yoga, there are so many asanas. I mean, you don't have to perform all the asanas, right? You don't have to do a headstand. You don't have to uh, put your leg behind your head or something. Just do the simple stuff. It is coordination of breathing and physical movement and your mind. So there is a whole lot of points or topics that we could discuss about yoga and performing the asanas, but I'm just giving an overview. So all you have to do is spend 15, 20 minutes every day, maybe in the morning, maybe in the evening, whatever time suits you, morning works for me, and just spend 15 minutes doing certain asanas. And you can check YouTube, there are hundreds of yoga teachers around, the beautiful videos, you can watch those videos and and practice. Um, so yoga is for everyone. That's what I wanted to focus in this video of mine. And one of the things is, um, as I just mentioned, people associate it with very athletic celebrity type uh, people. And you would be surprised, 
I, I actually wrote it on my blog that once I asked some kids, Indian American kids, so American kids who had Indian parents, who have Indian parents and they grew up in the US and I asked those kids, what do you know about yoga? Or what do you think when I say yoga, what, what is it? And these kids, being from an Indian uh, heritage, but raised, of course, in the US, and these were kids in California. And they said, oh, yoga is something uh, which, you know, usually this thin white women, they do in a gym or somewhere and they practice yoga, it's about them. It's, so it's strange that yoga originated in India and the Indian origin kids are not aware of that. And now yoga is popular worldwide. Yoga is very popular in India now because of the Western influence, which is a paradox. So it went from the East to the West and then it came back from the West to the East. Anyway, I'm digressing. And the main point I wanted to make is, um, just go ahead and spend 20 minutes every day, every morning perhaps. Decide on a location inside your house because that helps. Because if you just move around, if you move, do yoga in your kitchen or in your bathroom or, you know, it's specifically to uh, have a specific location, maybe a corner of your living room or maybe in your corner of your bedroom or someplace and set a specific time maybe after you wake up um, and a specific location, specific time and a specific duration and just do certain asanas. Anyway, I just wanted to share that and my thoughts and um, if you keep liking these video blogs, I will keep posting more. Thanks a lot. Namaste.